My name is Ethan Ortiz. I'm the founder of Hiroyuko LLC. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the FireEye Detection on Demand API. I'm going to cover the following topics in this video. First, I'll go over creating the API key in the FireEye Detection on Demand console. I'll go over the basic service health query. I'll demonstrate how to upload a file for analysis. I'll go over how to retrieve the results of the file analysis. I'll go over how to perform a file hash lookup. And to top it all off, I'll go over how to scriptify a hash lookup using both Python and curl. Let's begin by logging in to the FireEye Detection on Demand service. Next, I'll click on Settings. We'll click on Key Management, then Create Authorization Key. We'll give our key a name. It really doesn't matter what we name it. Pick a duration for the key. I'll pick 30 days and click generate. Now we have a key which we need to copy to our Postman client. Click on copy to clipboard button. Next, we'll restrict which IP addresses are able to reach the FireEye detection on demand service. I'll click on add new IP restriction. I'll pick my newly created key and type in the IP address subnet to restrict access from. I'm just gonna use a dummy uh, 111.0/24 address here. Once we're done with the IP restriction, we can move on to copying our key to Postman in order to run our first query. I'll start by opening up the help folder and clicking on the help status query. I can confirm that our FireEye server is correct and that our feye-auth-key is set correctly in my Postman environment. I click send. And I can see the subscription start and end date, the status of the subscription, and some basic statistics on the use of the API, including how many uploads I have performed. Next, I'll cover uploading a file for analysis. I click on File Query. Since this is an upload, I change the HTTP verb to post and verify the slash files endpoint. I check the HTTP body contains form data with the, the file name key set to file and the value set to file name netgato.exe. I click send to upload the file. I receive a response that tells me that the file was successfully received by the service and I receive the report underscore ID I can use to query for the results. I also see the MD5 hash is there so I can query that as well. I copy the report ID value to copy into my Postman environment variable called report underscore ID. I also copy the MD5 to ensure it is also in my Postman environment. Next I'll query for the results of the file scan. I'll open the reports query and verify that the report underscore ID is referenced correctly from the Postman environment. I ensure the HTT verb is get and that the header has the authorization key. And I hit send. I can see the results for our netgato.exe file. Next, let's take a look at how to query for a specific MD5 hash. I go over to the hashes folder and click on the hashes query. As you can see, I'm using the postman variable hash underscore ID to use the hash I pasted in the postman environment earlier in the video. I click send. I get back the results for my MD5 hash showing that the file is indeed malicious. Lastly, I'll cover how to export our queries into Python and curl commands. I choose a query to export. In this example, I'm going to use the hashes lookup. I click on code right here. I scroll down to the programming language I am interested in. I select Python requests. I copy the code. I open Python and paste the code in to obtain my results. I can save said code for execution by other means such as a cron job or being triggered by another application. Next I choose curl. I follow the same steps and open a command line. Since I have the Linux subsystem 
for Windows installed on my machine, I can run bash on my Windows system and paste in the curl command to get the expected results. You are now ready to get started on your FireEye Detection on Demand API development.